In the last one year, the government of Canada has made a bunch of announcements to control the trajectory of increasing immigrants in Canada. Only in the last one week, there have been two major announcements which tells you that Liberal government is now in a rush to control immigration. So of course we now know where is it heading towards. In a video that I made earlier this week, we discussed about the first announcement. So in this video, we'll discuss about the second major announcement. What more can we expect for the temporary foreign workers and also for the permanent residents as well. For the express entry program, could there be more changes coming in? We'll discuss about all these points in this video. Don't go anywhere. Earlier this week, Justin Trudeau announced that they would be tightening the rules for low wage temporary foreign workers, which would limit the number of foreign workers coming into Canada for low wage jobs. And just two days ago, there was another major announcement. Now, this announcement is about a temporary policy which was terminated with immediate effect. So during COVID, because of the labor shortage, the government of Canada announced that people who are visitors to Canada who are in a tourist visa can actually apply for work permit just online. And that was a temporary policy, but I guess it was extended for one or two times. But now with immediate effect, they have actually ended this policy. Now this policy was probably abused a lot because you don't have to go for an interview, you just have to submit some documents online. There's a lot of fraudulent activities going on and through many consultants and career advisors, this policy was being promoted like you can just simply go to Canada on a tourist visa and then convert it to the work permit and later you can apply for permanent residency. So a lot of it would actually be ending now because you cannot convert your uh, visitor visa directly to the work permit simply by applying online. However, there's a small loophole that you can actually go for flag pulling, but anybody who chooses to go for that route would need to meet a visa officer and would be scrutinized. So it would be much more difficult to do that. So yes, that was the second announcement all about. Okay, so now let's try to get into the bigger picture. Try to understand that what can we expect in the next few days or next couple of months. By now, you must be aware about the growing anti-immigration sentiment in Canada and there will be federal elections in maybe October or November of next year. Many polls suggest that the Liberal Party and Justin Trudeau are trailing behind the Conservative Party. So if the elections are to be held uh, today or next month, most probably the Liberal Party would be the losing end. So now they have got just over a year to turn things around, to change the sentiments of Canadian voters. There's an anti-immigration sentiment and now they are respecting that. If you have to win elections, you have to respect what your voters want. So in the days to come, you can expect even tougher measures, some new rules and even more strict policies to control immigration. Now, obviously we don't know for sure which rules would be changed and which new policies would be implemented. But overall, looking at many interviews and press conferences from the Prime Minister, from the ex-immigration minister, from the current immigration minister, it is pretty obvious that they would be taking some harsh steps and making some huge announcements in the months to come. Let's start with the temporary foreign workers and then we'll talk about the permanent residents as well. Now, earlier this week, Justin Trudeau announced about the low-wage temporary foreign workers but later in the press conference, he also hinted that they are reviewing the high wage temporary foreign workers as well. And there are high chances that they would be restricting or maybe tightening the rules for high wage temporary foreign workers as well. This may include some skilled workers, but most probably some sectors would be excluded, just like healthcare, construction, because Canada is in a healthcare crisis and a housing crisis as well. Over the next 90 days, we'll be looking at the higher wage streams of temporary workers, and we'll be looking at unemployment rates and opportunities to make further adjustments uh, over the course of this fall as we come forward with comprehensive level, level plans that'll respond to the reality that Canada's facing now and in years and decades to come. So just like the low wage temporary foreign workers, you can expect a similar announcement for the high wage temporary foreign workers as well. 
However, the specifics might be different. But overall, the theme would be very similar that they would somehow be tightening the rules and restricting the number of high wage temporary foreign workers entering into Canada. In the fall of every year, probably in October or November, they do announce their immigration level plans for the next three years, which means that in 2024, they'll be announcing it for 25, 26 and 27. Usually it used to contains the quota, the numbers for permanent residents, but this time the immigration minister has hinted that they would include temporary foreign workers in there as well, which might mean that they could put some type of cap on the number of temporary foreign workers coming into Canada in next three years. This fall, we'll be presenting for the first time an immigrations levels plan that doesn't just talk about permanent residents, but also talks about temporary residents, whether it's foreign workers or others. And we're making sure that the entire package makes as much sense as possible for the needs of Canadians and for the needs of our economy. Okay, now talking about the permanent residents. As I told you about the immigration level plan coming into the fall of this year, probably in October or November. Usually since the last few years, we have seen that number increase every single year. So in the fall of 2023, they announced the target for 2024, 25 and 26. And this year, they would be announcing it for 25, 26 and 27. Almost every year, we have seen some increase in the targets that they would be admitting more and more permanent residents into the country. But this year, most probably you would see that numbers to go down. Now, of course, we would know the specifics later, but it is almost certain that they would actually reduce these numbers even for the next year, 2025. And by reducing the overall number and the immigration targets, they would try to win the sentiments and the hearts of Canadians once again. So for 2025 and 26, they've already announced the targets and most probably they'll be lowering it down. Apart from that, you might see some other policies, maybe something about the region specific draws. Now, of course, everybody knows that there are some famous hotspots. Most of the immigrants actually come and settle over there. So for example, Toronto GTA is one, around Vancouver is the second, Calgary is the third. So what it does is that it overpopulates certain regions, but some other regions still are pretty empty. They might be conducting region specific draws which is very similar to the concept of PNPs, but would be very different because these would be the federal draws, which might focus on certain communities, certain municipalities, or maybe certain region in the country. So as to deflect people from settling in these immigrant hotspots and moving around in the country. So region specific draws is something to look out for. We have been hearing a lot about this since last one or two years, but it really hasn't come to fruition. This may be the right time to implement this policy as well. And lastly, for CEC candidates, this might actually turn out to be a good news for the CEC candidates because they might not want to get new people into the country and increase the population even more, but rather utilize everyone who's already in the country. If you have a good score, which is above 500, you most probably would have better communication skills, a lot of work experience and the required skills so that you can contribute to the growth of the country and the economy. So you might see more CEC draws in the days to come and maybe some policies which do favor CEC draws and all those candidates were already in Canada looking to get their permanent residency instead of getting more people from outside and settling here. Okay guys, so the message is pretty clear. All in all, they'd be tightening the rules around immigration so as to limit the number of immigrants in the country. In order to please the Canadian voters, you might see some harsh steps and announcements in the days to come, especially looking into the fall, into that immigration levels plan. So if you're thinking of moving to Canada, maybe this video can help you understand the situation and the future of immigration. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you have any comments, any feedback, please put it down in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video. See you in the next one.